Did you know that, as of the time this video was recorded, you can now generate unlimited videos, images, background music, and AI voiceovers using the brand new VEO3 access method? And yes, it's completely legal and 100% free. That's right. You'll get 1080p resolution, no watermarks, and no credit card required. This isn't some outdated trick or a temporary glitch. It's a fully updated method that is working right now, and it's going to blow your mind. Just so you know, every method I share on this channel is recorded and tested by me in real time. So when I say it works, I mean it. But here's the catch. You need to act fast before this method gets patched like the others. First off, a big thank you to all of you. The support lately has been incredible, and I truly appreciate every like, comment, and subscriber. Now for the exciting part. I've been testing something even better than before. Today, I'm revealing a new VEO3 access method that gives you full access with no sign-up, no credit card, and no strings attached. You'll be creating studio-quality videos in just minutes, using nothing but this free tool. So, if you're serious about content creation, AI automation, or just making stunning videos without any limits, this is the video you've been waiting for. Now, let's get into it. Head over to your screen and follow along step by step. Let's begin by searching for Gmail on Google. The first step in this process is to create a brand new Gmail account, and I cannot stress enough how important this is. Please do not use any of your existing Gmail IDs, especially not your personal or work accounts. The best practice is to start fresh with a brand new Gmail ID created solely for this purpose. I won't walk you through the Gmail signup process in full here, since most of us already know how to create a Gmail account. I'll fast forward through that part. All right, my new Gmail ID is ready. The next step is to search for Google Skill Boost on your browser. Once the results appear, you'll want to click on the very first link in the search results. That will take you directly to the Google Skill Boost homepage. From there, Simply click the Get Started button. Once you do that, a new window will pop up prompting you to sign in. At this point, it's very important to log in with the fresh Gmail account you just created. Or at the very least, use an old or spare account that you don't mind risking. Again, avoid using any account tied to sensitive data, financial tools, or anything you can't afford to lose. I'm going to sign in with a new account I just created so you can follow along with me. Once you're logged in, click Continue to proceed. Now, pay close attention. This next part is crucial. If prompted, Google will prompt you to enter your date of birth. You must make sure that you set your birth date to reflect an age of 18 or older. Many users make the mistake of entering a date that suggests they are underage. And unfortunately, that causes the method to break or certain access permissions will be denied. In my case, I was not asked to enter my date of birth. But if you are, just click I accept and proceed. Now a small pop-up might appear. Feel free to close that out. We're now ready for the next step. Now that we're inside the Google Skill Boost dashboard, the next step is to click on Explore Catalog from the main window. This will bring up a new page with a search bar at the top. In that search bar, type Generative AI and hit Enter. After a few moments, you'll see a list of available labs related to Generative AI. What you're looking for is the 45-minute lab which typically appears as the third option on the list. Go ahead and click on that one. Once you do, a new window will open showing the lab overview. 
Here, you'll see a description of what the lab covers, along with some basic instructions. If this is your first time using Skill Boost, it's a good idea to read through these details to familiarize yourself with what you're about to do. When you're ready, click the Start Lab button to begin. You'll be asked to fill in a CAPTCHA or confirm a few settings. Once that's completed, you'll see a new button appear labeled Open Google Cloud Console. Now here comes an important step. Do not open the console in your regular browser tab. Instead, right-click the button and choose to open it in a new incognito window. This helps prevent any issues with cookies, cache, or prior sessions interfering with the process. As the incognito window opens, you may be prompted with a message. Simply click, I understand, to continue. Next, you'll see a page asking you to select a country. This is a critical step. You must choose United States from the drop-down menu. After selecting the United States, check the box agreeing to the terms of service and then click Agree and Continue to move forward. Now we're inside the Google Cloud Console. On the left-hand sidebar, you'll see a variety of services and options. Scroll down until you find Vertex AI and click on it. A sub-menu will appear, and from there, you need to click on Media Studio. Inside Media Studio, you'll find a suite of AI-powered tools that are incredibly powerful and surprisingly easy to use. Let me quickly walk you through what each one does. Imagen is for generating high-quality images using text prompts. Chirp is designed for generating realistic AI voiceovers. Lyra allows you to create original background music with just a few clicks. VEO is the star of the show. It's used to generate AI-powered videos, fully automated. And there's also a new upload option, which is part of their latest rollout. I'll explain how this works shortly. Now that you're in the media studio, you have full access to the entire suite of tools. In the next section, I'll guide you through how to use VEO. Now that we're inside Media Studio, I'm going to go ahead and select the VEO option. This will bring us to the full VEO interface, and this is where all the magic happens. You'll see a list of available VEO models, and it's important to note that the ones marked with a new tag are the models that currently work best. For this tutorial, I'll be selecting the VEO3 Fast model, which offers great speed without compromising too much on quality. Once selected, you'll be able to adjust a few key parameters. The first is the number of results, which determines how many video variations you'll get per prompt. Then, you'll see the option to set the video length, followed by the output resolution. I'm going to set this to 1080p-i for the highest quality. Now, pay close attention to this next part. There's an option called Generate Audio, and it's absolutely essential that you leave this enabled. Without it, your video will come out silent, and you don't want that. There are also some advanced settings available for those who want more control over the output, but for now, I'll keep those as default. It's time to enter the prompt. Once that's done, you'll notice that video generation has officially begun. It's still processing, which is expected. Video rendering does take a bit more time compared to audio or image generation. Now let's check our video. And yes, it is ready. Let me play it so you can see the result. As you can see, the video was generated flawlessly in full HD. Most importantly, there's no VEO watermark, which is something you would usually see if you were using the Flow platform or limited access tools. 
You can download your video by clicking the three vertical dots next to it, then selecting Download from the drop-down. There's one more feature here I want to quickly point out. It's called Actions. This allows you to extend your generated video by 4 to 7 seconds, which is useful if you want a longer output. However, you'll notice that the option is currently disabled. That's because we created this video at 1080p resolution. And right now, the extended feature is only supported for 720p videos. Hopefully, they expand this functionality to higher resolutions in the future. To continue generating unlimited videos, all you need to do is go back to the previous window where the lab timer is running. From there, stop the current session, then click on Start Lab again to reset the timer and begin a fresh session. Once the lab restarts, simply repeat the same process I showed you earlier. Sign in, open the console in incognito mode, and access the Media Studio tools. That's it. This method effectively gives you unlimited access to VEO3 without any restrictions, as long as you follow the same steps every time the session ends. Make sure to take full advantage of this while it still works. This is one of those loopholes that could be patched at any moment, so the sooner you use it, the better. So that wraps up today's tutorial. I hope everything made sense and that you now feel confident using VEO3 to create high-quality AI-generated content. If you have any questions about today's tutorial, feel free to ask in the comments section. I do my best to respond to as many of you as I can. And for faster replies or behind-the-scenes content, feel free to follow me on TikTok. You'll find the link in the video description.